everybody and welcome back my name is sue and i'm from oml embroidery and over at the computer it's dawn hello and today we are going to make a really cool luggage tag are we looking at fish yeah we're looking, we're looking at fish because it's cute we just wanted to get it in the shot just for fun because the fish and the crabby dudes are so cute so good morning mom mom's here hello good hello. morning leah misha of course uh susan Weehy waves waves i'm waving at her robin hello isabel hello lynn of course hello jill scarsbrick hello you you're not even a bit late we just got started so are we back on the desk We're in the ledge, okay yeah. thanks for telling me the usual so I wanted to show you guys what I'm working on because we like to do this you know quilt chat I guess before so this is a design I've come up with and I thought it looked pretty cool so four shells and then uh, the circle in the middle and when you put it all together I've got a couple already sewn together. Look at this. So the negative spaces also make a clamshell. Isn't that cool? I like it. All the negative spaces. And I use some gorgeous ombre fabric. And this is ink, ink blot fabric. I don't know, different colors. Um, but isn't it beautiful? So I've made a couple more and I'm going to put it together and I've got some really nice sashing that I created. So this will be coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, so there we go. That's the quilt chat. And of course, you guys know fish is uh, coming up soon. Lynn is testing the five by seven so that's just simply awesome as well so today we are doing the on the house dime so along project uh, which is awesome and i was gonna get out the cutter and cut the fabric uh you could do it on cricut because you get the SVG file. You could do it on a silhouette because you got the SVG file. And the FCM file is in there as well. But I thought, you know what? Let's go old school on this. Because people are always saying, well, what if you don't have a cutter? Well, here's what we're going to do. So there's a PDF file. And I just printed out the PDF file. And I'm using my paper scissors, so don't fret. Don't fret. Um, and then I'm going to hack it out like this, I call it. Just hack it out. Hack it out. Get rid of that. We don't need that. And then there's more than one way you can do this. So you can just simply put this on the fabric. Uh, this is dime patch fabric, by the way, and it's pretty cool. You could just put this on and cut it out. I mean, that's easy enough. I'm going to try it with this. It's called Goody Stick. And it's just kind of temporary adhesive. So let's, let's just try that and see how it works. I don't have to be fancy right now. Uh, but there we go. My iPad's not staying on. What the heck? Stay on, man. I need to be able to see the chat. So, Goody Stick, I just stuck it on. I'm just going to rub it down a little bit. And then we're going to just peel off the backing. Don't throw the backing away, though, because you can put the templates on it. You see, and it just kind of holds it. Peel and stick from dime would also work absolutely perfect for this. So, see, I'm just going to stick it down. Oh, that knocked over my thread. There we go. I'm just going to stick it down and now it's going to hold. So again, taking my scissors, I am just going to cut around it. 
So if you're making, you know, 40 of these, you may want to use the cutting machine because <laughs> it's a lot. But if you're just doing two um, or one or two or something like that, then this is how to do it. So going old school, guys, this is all you have to do. Whenever I say just print the temp out, temp, template out and cut it, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Lynn thinks you said cootie. Cootie? Instead of cootie stick. <laughs> no, cootie stick. Sticks to your cooties. But see, it's removable. It's, I like it. It's gun old thing, but I just use it because I have a ton of it. Because um, they wouldn't give me just a little bit. I had to buy industrial size <laughs> roll of it. it. It was a little more than we needed. Uh, I will have goody stick until I'm, I was going <laughs> to say 50, but heck, I'm already there. Uh, to the end of my embroidery career, so I'm trying to use it for sure. So there we go. Now, you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. It really does not have to be perfect for sure. Uh, and keep my, I'm going to keep my leftovers of the patch fabric because this stuff is really cool and it makes a really nice patch when it's done. You guys will see. So now if you want to cut out the holes, I'm going to use my little itty bitty Oh, that's the problem. Huh, that's weird. What? It's not showing. It's just showing starting soon. Huh. Oh, it didn't start here. Yeah, how could that be? I was wondering I've, why. I've had that on occasion. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. It's kind of running blind. That was weird. Uh, I'm going to take my little, little itty bitty trimming scissors and see if i can poke it through like this misha says you should do a giveaway of goody stick <laughs> well we got it in a how big is the roll how wide how long is the roll uh, 45 inches I think. yeah um so don had to cut it up into more manageable pieces so this is what I use. He seriously cut it up into manageable pieces because I really wasn't going to, uh, you know, haul out this big roll every time. So, I'm pretty sure yeah. you the hacksaw for that. You did, yes. Anyways, the, the dime um, print and stick is probably a lot better, certainly a lot easier. It's from Gunold, but... With Gunold, a lot of times you can't get a small bit of it. You have to get industrial size. So, yeah, I have a lot of goody stick. There we go. So, again, it doesn't have to be perfect right here um, because we're going to put stitches over it. So, let's do the next one. And, you know what? This didn't take me long at all to cut this out and of course you don't have to pre-cut anything I just wanted to show you guys how uh, you can do it and it's easy I also picked all my threads and I have just about all of the same colors as Eileen Roche did and of course the same fabric so it kind of works out so just little cuts for sure it's easy I know I'm cutting paper but these aren't my <laughs> Tula Pink. Jill says she bought some too. The roll is huge. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit insane. Well, cut it up to more manageable bits and then you'll actually use it. I've had it for a couple of years, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't use it because, like I said, I'm not going to haul out this big, huge thing. Oh, apparently you can get an 8-inch wide, 27-yard roll of beauty stick now. Oh, well, they now, didn't. Now they made it manageable. They didn't have it then. So this is why I said keep your backing fabric because this stuff is restickable. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not nearly going to recommend this stuff. 
Um, it's okay, but I'm sure there's better products out nowadays. I just use it again because I have it. So I'm pulling off the paper and the goody stick, the sticky stuff. And then you can just, because it's not going to stick to anything, you can just put this in the template drawer or a project bin. And if you want to do this project again, you already have your templates. And we are left with... I didn't think of that. Yeah. That's pretty smart. Yeah, it works. So that was, you know, pretty easy, I think. What do you guys think? Yeah, easy. Super easy. So, um... One thing I wonder, I might get another piece of goody stick to stick this down so we don't have any problems. Where's my, oh yeah, there we go. Uh, which side is which? I just want one. Eh, I'll do two. So I'm just going to put this here. You don't need to, but like I said, I have this stuff, so I'm going to use it. It's super easy. So I'm just going to use my goody stick, sticky stuff for the applique bit, just so it can sit down, hold it down, just for extra fun. There we go. So that's one. And um, I don't think I even, oh, look at that. Ha, there we go. Nice. Can you see the lines in the patch fabric? Cause it's pretty cool. I'm making sure also that I don't cut the patch fabric. So this is just going to make it easier because I am doing a live. And, you know, when live happens, stuff happens too. You know how that goes. So there we go. All right. So that didn't take too long at all. And I did a little bit extra stuff on it. Goody stick. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So let's go to the machine and we can get started. Look at all the beautiful colors all lined up. So my Luminaire 2 with googly eyes. It's awesome. 4x4 four four hoop. And we are ready to go. So yes, okay. So the hole, the, for the top, the hole goes in the left-hand corner. So we are going to stitch out the first step is placement because it's like applique, like making, a, you know, kind of like making a mug rug, same sort of thing. Easy. Oh, I love that pink too. Pink and turquoise are nice colors. So I'm just struggling for a second here with peeling off. There, I got it. So this is just to make it easier. Now, I found that I need to move the hoop a little bit when I am, you know, fussy placing these things. Um, I've found I had trouble. Now, this doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. Well, maybe it's okay. Let's try. I didn't adjust anything. It's possible that my computer did. So let's see how the tacking stitches go. Maybe it's just a little bit bigger on the outside there. No, it's fine. It's fine. Panic not. That's why I always give it a try. So it doesn't fit in, but the zigzag stitches are still catching it so that's fine give yourself a little space it shall be fine now it's gonna be held down really nicely so maybe i was a too aggressive in some of the cornering <laughs> but that's okay saved always try that's my thing always try so hopefully the satin stitches will give it more coverage. So now using the pink that I've got on, we're going to start the design. I like the pink and turquoise. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. So the goody stick or sticky stuff, you can use spray. By the way, it's water soluble stabilizer. 
um, I don't have the exact stuff that Eileen Roche was using. It's really thick and it's the clear kind, so you can just pop it out. Would be handy, but I don't have any. So I'm using what I have, and what I have is just our usual water soluble stabilizer. So this is a really cute design. It's uh, 22 minutes to stitch out, which I think is dandy. So that was the PDF that I printed out that isn't quite the right size. I mean, it's good enough, but it's not quite the right size. So just be aware of that. Sometimes the program, and I am using a new program, uh, will resize it a little bit to fit. So that's probably what happened. I was kind of not paying attention to it. I should have thought about it, but it's really not a big deal. Um, you can always make it work. It's kind of fun cutting with the scissors, though. Have you seen this patch fabric done? Yeah. It's kind of cool. I have a whole bunch of it. Because I thought it was fun. It looks like twill fabric. Um, but it's kind of stiff and easy to work with. I really like it. Yeah. It's kind of neat. And I have the brights, a whole bunch of brights, and it's really cool. So, yeah, this is a free design, by the way. You can go to uh, the Designs in Machine Embroidery website, and you can get it for free. And it includes the embroidery files, um, instructions, step-by-step, -step, everything instructions. Um, color charts, color everything, and of course all of the cutting files, so if you want to pre-cut. And again, if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's not hard. Now this one, it did the placement and then it did a zigzag. So you wouldn't want to trim the fabric after the zigzag, but you can go back and stitch the placement again and then trim and then do the zigzag so just keep that in mind do you use a scan and cut just came up i have the brother scan and cut the 325 which is designed to communicate really well with my luminaire so what she, she does Oh, for this? No, I cut it. I went old school and I printed out a template and it wasn't quite the right size and I forgot to check. So just a little bit off. Yeah, old school. Why not? Uh, I think it's close enough, you know, it looks like it, it might not have caught, but I'm thinking satin. the satin stitches yeah. will cover it a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to edge it with this pink or another pink because I really like it for sure. Yeah, the traditional, the old old school, if you don't have a cutter and you still want to sit and pre-cut stuff, what I used to do for Apple K before the cutters came out is I would, you know, print out the templates and just like sit upstairs and cut out fabric while you're watching TV, you'd be surprised how much you get done. You don't have to be sitting at your desk. Any work that I don't have to do at my desk, I'm always happy for. It just seems to work for me. Awesome. So yeah, old school. But I have a Cricut. So with the Cricut, you have to use the SVG file. But with that file, you got to check sizes. So uh, awesome. So now we want, oh, this is light pink. So I have almost exactly the same colors that Eileen Roche used, which is awesome. Linda says that she noticed when she printed a template from the tool shed, it made it slightly smaller. Yeah, most, most do that. Uh, tool shed probably shouldn't have, but 
Tool Shed is a great little program, too. Yeah, it seems like it is. Um, what it's probably not, the Tool Shed, what it probably is, is your printer. So there's a whole bunch of settings for your printer, and you want to find the one that says print at 100%. Yeah, uh, a lot of times it goes yeah. down to 90 or something. And that's what happened to me, it was, like even 98 to make it fit in the middle of the page or something like that. So that's what that is. This is cute. I like it. Hitting the road. We're not going anywhere, Don. I know. <laughs> I gotta work on, you know, leaving the house. Other than the backyard. You know how that is. So, any other questions, guys? Like I said, I am just using my goody stick because I can. Uh, because I have, like, 10 million feet of it. Which, normally I wouldn't complain about having lots of something, but I think I just have too much of Goody Stick. You can also, remember, you can also put the Goody Stick through the cutter, and if you have an AccuQuilt, you can use it too, so it's easy for that. Cindy King! Hello, Cindy King! Um... Marked it with permanent marker. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm just reading the comments. Hello, OML gang. Oh, that's Cindy King. Hello, Cindy King. I already said hello, but hello again. What a cute tag. I love it. It's got a little wobble in here, so we're going to hope that that uh, kind of flattens out by the end. It should. It should. Lynn, wait till you see my fish. Yes, Lynn is testing out the 5x7 fish for me. And she's done a fantastic job. Because I didn't do the 5x7. I just... Yeah. 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 Seems like Lynn enjoyed it. Uh, she used polka dot fabric for some of the fish. Which I thought was really cute. It really added a lot to it. And of course she had her hot pink um, kissy fish. Kissy fishy. Kissy fish. I like the crabs. They're my favorite. I think the crabs are probably my favorite too. I really, I really like, like them. Them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I saw the crabs <laughs> like that, but I did. This is my imagination. I found the print settings in tool shed and checked the box for actual size. Thanks, Sue. You are welcome. Usually it's a, a setting. And you know what? I did the exact same thing. I wasn't in tool shed, but I was in another bit of software and I did the exact same thing. I didn't check that it's printing the size that I want, which is 100%. So, yeah, just check on it. Um... Print preview does not really help in that. No, not with that. No, no. But just bear in mind that it'll be a different size. So I, I say it, but yet I forgot about it. <laughs> I think you'll be okay, though. Uh, it looks yeah. like it should be. I think we'll manage on it. And if it doesn't, well, no big deal at all. It'll still look pretty cool. Alright, now for some hot pink. We're getting there on this design. It's getting there. I love it. Um, it's awesome. Ooh. Nice fast stitches there. Oh, that really adds to it. I wondered why there were so many different colors on it, but... That makes a big difference. I love details in embroidery. Yeah, it's like going over it a couple times. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and some satin. Yeah, that's a heck of a suitcase. I'm telling ya. That's a- oh, for Lynn. It's a very pink suitcase for you, Lynn. It's also nice this is in the 4x4 hoop. 
And you don't have to use this kind of fabric. You can use any fabric. And like I said, if you're not pre-cutting anything, then just do the first step over again for the tack down. Trim it, and then, and then you can, um, <coughs> you can do the zigzag stitches. Personally, I love zigzag stitches for uh, all applique. It really makes it look good. I think after this, we're gonna do some detail stuff. I think there's a camera and there's sunglasses and then some flowers. And then we put it all together. I'm definitely gonna use pink around the outside. She used the turquoise color, but I'm definitely gonna use the pink um, for sure. I like it. Yeah, we're having some puckering. Oh, that's okay. It's probably because I'm not using the um, the same kind of water soluble as she did. But that's okay. We can still flatten them out. It also might be the goody stick. I guess you know what? If all the edges, that's what it is. It's my, it's my fault. <laughs> it usually is. Um, because all the edges aren't holding down, that's why we're getting the puckering. They've popped out a little bit, so that makes sense. just ignore it. Yours won't do it if you cut your stuff correctly. <laughs> eh, no biggie. No biggie. I think it'll still look fine anyway. Yeah, um, what I should have done when I placed it down with my goody stick is when I realized it wasn't going to fit, that I just grabbed a piece of the fabric and just did it, cut it out. And then I wouldn't have these problems. But you know what? Live and learn. Hopefully we can recover from it, but you can see right here that it's popped right out right at the front you can see it and that's why and that's why you get puckering so kind of think of the the pink on the outside as the hoop and if you don't hoop it properly it's gonna move so it's a learning thing if that makes any sense um by the way did we see my nails did we see them Maybe, yeah. Yeah, they match the design kind of. No, they're it's orange they're colors. Color. Yeah, it's peach, it not goes, pink. Goes with the pink the... Maybe, Don. Maybe. Still in my. Oh no, this is my second copy. <laughs> I think you require more, dear. No offense or anything. I, I think I require more of the older. I think so. Don's finally realized he's getting old and he's not 20. You can't so, see anymore. I gotta wear my glasses now. Yeah, well, welcome to the rest of the world. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I'm right at that point where I almost need to wear them to look at the monitor, but. Yeah, don't get uh, eye strain. So, camera, and then I think we're doing sunglasses. Camera and wheels. Why does it seem children and animals, especially cats, require attention just when you're the most busy? It's a sense that they have. Um, it's especially strong with dash hounds. <laughs> Named Odie. <laughs> no, Odie. <laughs> Odie's a very high maintenance dash hound. Don't say that too loud. He's curled up. Oh. So if you say his name, he's going to want some attention. So, uh, awesome. Ooh, Lynn says that's our Vegas tags when we all meet up. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be a required. Uh, I'm going to cut mine out better, though. Ha! But, yeah, awesome. And that is still in the works. We can't quite do it yet. Um, but I still think we should. I do, I do. I think it would be awesome. Yeah, so, another color change. Lots of color changes on this one, but, you know, it's okay. Ah, we got some sunglasses to do, too. Especially cats. I've seen a lot of pictures 
of people's uh, kitty cats lying on their hoops. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I don't have to deal with that. I have hounds, though, that want in and out all the time, but not quite the same. Odie used to do that, I think. And maybe Gallifrey did, too. And we're cutting fabric on the floor before I had big tables. Um, they would like to lie on the fabric. They thought it was a bed for them or something. <sighs> Jerks. <laughs> my Norwegian is very needy and must sit on my chest whenever the laptop is out. Well, you know, that's, that's how it goes, right? For sure. We have Beatrice home. She's not working, so she takes the hounds, the big dogs, upstairs. Um, I don't know why she left us with the needy. And she shuts the door and goes back to um, uh, sleep. So, yeah, what are you going to do? We're not worried. So this is coming along. Uh, it's a really cute design. Now there are a few color changes, but uh, they're really cute. So I'm not gonna complain about them. I, I think the luggage is cute. That camera is its pretty small, but I like it. Yeah, I can see where it's not holding. That's okay. Satin stitches, be magical today for me, please. Be magical. That would be nice. So the only thing I'm not going to do on this one is I'm not going to do the writing. Oh, I, I really like that camera. It's kind of cute. We're going to hit it with more pink. What are we doing in pink? Hopefully flowers. That is a nice camera. Yeah, it's well done. Nice details for such a small design. There's flowers at the bottom. Lots more pink. It's a very pink thing. I may do pink sunglasses too, just because I think it's cute. Yeah, pink. So what pink should we do? The bright pink, medium pink? One of those. Let's see which one I grab first. So taking my silver off. I stuck to the uh, thread list, which is cool. I thought that was neat. I had almost everything. I'm going to do the brighter pink. Almost everything for it. Yeah, but it's kind of cool when that works out like that. Yeah, that rarely happens. Um, but it's, you know, good thread, new thread. And I have the thread rack, which... I thoroughly enjoy now. I never, I had one years and years ago, but I found it too annoying. I think it's great for picking colors on the fly and coming up with new ideas. It's all right there where you can see it. It's kind of awesome. So lots of pink in this one. Kittens are irresistible. Bobbin. I, it's a little bit of bobbin chicken today and I forgot to show you guys a little bit I said it's a little bit so yeah it was about maybe half full but I if I run out that's okay that's okay for sure soft coated wheaten terriers they're good all around dog medium size they're lovely dogs I think I well you guys know what I have uh, we have uh, wire haired it's actually when you said Wheaton <laughs> Odie is his technical name of his breed is a Wheaton wire haired dash hound so you forgot me that's part of his breed no <laughs> it's part of any dash it's built into the word dash hound oh. yeah for sure Dash hounds can be needy characters. Gallifrey was too. Gallifrey was kind of evil. He was... Gotta know how to handle weenie dogs. 
they can have attitude. I love the pudding. Yeah, he was a pretty tough he, cookie. He, he was awesome, but a challenge. Yeah, he left us way too early, too. But what are you going to do? More little stitches. This is looking good. So I was thinking maybe I'm going to try pink sunglasses. It's right near the end. Lots of flowers. So remember this. This is because I didn't cut my stuff properly. So after all that fun work I did. <laughs> Just make sure it's the right size. There's settings. There's always a setting. So I think the next color is going to be the center of the flowers. It might be the orange. I've got an orange. I think that would be really good. Yeah, it looks like orange. Oh, those flowers are beautiful, aren't they? I like them, yeah. They're, they're little, but they're beautiful. So, not sure what the color is on here, but I'm thinking it's the orange. So, I've got a nice kind of dark orange, not bright pumpkin orange. It's a little bit darker than that, and I think it's going to look fantastic. And it goes along with all of the bright colors that I have going on. So, it's going to do flowers and flower centers which i also think is gonna look really good it's kind of cool it's a really pretty design i like it yeah see how good that orange looks kind of like a dusty orange for sure so what are we talking about now my house is a three ring circus with four cats, two of which are weak old kittens. Ooh, weak old kittens. Oh my. That's awesome. That's awesome. We don't have any babies in the house except for Don. No? I'm not disagreeing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure you heard me for sure. I really do like this luggage tag. You could also, uh, there's some writing on it, but you could also put uh, your last name or something on it. I think that would be kind of cool, like at the top. I like that. See the orange? I picked a great orange. I love it. So now it's gonna do some centers. So just, I don't even know how many stitches. Not many with the orange, but you know, it's all in the details. So hopefully I can salvage this. It's not looking like I can, but we're going to give it a go anyways. You never know. I should have fixed it when I saw it, but what are you going to do, right? I was hoping for the best, plus, you know, being live. Yeah, well, this could be my tester one. I like all the colors that I chose. They're they're almost exactly Eileen Roche's. You can see, can you see where the fabric is coming up? Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's okay. Stuff happens. I love that orange. That orange makes the whole design, I think. Look, it left a googly eye space for the glasses. <laughs> it left the space. It's cut out. It just kind of looks funny. It's probably going to go there next. So, yeah, I think it's cute. Scan into the luminaire, then draw around it and attach. Cover it. Yeah, you can save it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that on, on uh, camera, though. We'll see how the satin stitches start, and if not, then I can do it that way. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of ways of fixing it, for sure. Make it a little bit smaller and just stitch the satin stitches. That might be the easiest way. I might try that. See if that's going to work. 
uh, hitting the road. So this is the lettering and I'm going to pass on the lettering. So I'm just going to fast forward one color and I don't know what that is. Silver. I think it's pale pink for the color. I'm not really sure. So this orange goes better with my nails than anything else. By the way. Mary says, no fails, just creative opportunities. Yeah. Troubleshooting and fixing boo-boos is a, a great skill to know. And there's a lot of ways that you can do it just to be clever about it. Um, like I said, with the brother scanning cut, I could have just loaded this up and sent it to my cutting machine and did it, but I wanted to do it a different way. I love it when I have to fix something. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's, uh, clever. It's clever. There's a lot of clever ways you can do it. And I think this will be a good example. I don't know if it'll work, but you know. All right, so sunglasses. We're going to do pink. I've got pink in. Let's do pink for Lynn. Not that I'm going to give Lynn this, but just for Lynn. No, I could have done that. It's just pink. Just like the pale pink because it matches the luggage bag. Oh yeah, who wouldn't want rose-colored glasses? Come on. So we'll see if we can fix it. There's a couple of things we can do. The last resort is starting it again. I try not to do that. So what we need to do before we do anything else is we need to put the back part on. So let's go back to the desk and we can have a closer look at this. Okay, love the pink sunglasses. So yeah, everything's pulled because you could see right here, it's not, it was pretty darn close, but not close enough. See at the bottom here? So that's why you get puckers, and that's why I always tell people, um, hoop stuff. Hoop stuff. Yeah, hoop don't don't stuff. float it, because that's what happens all the time when you float. Yeah, because <laughs> there's nothing to hold the edges, and you need that. But we'll see. I'm going to do, my plan of action is I'm going to do a couple of the satin stitches. And if it's, I can't get this to work. Carolyn says your bobbin looks really low. Uh-oh. Might as well change it while the hoop's out. Is it low? I don't know. I was playing bobbin chicken, though. That's pretty low. Could you resize the pattern? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's the way I'm going to do it. I think that's the easiest way of doing it. All right, goody stick. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, there we go. Finally. So this is where having sticky stuff is handy. And remember when your hoop is upside down like this, you don't want to push on this because you don't want your stabilizer to move. And I'm going to give it a good push like this. And also I can get it if I put some elbow grease into it, I can get everything to uh, flatten a little bit better. So see how that looks? Um, it's a little bit off. I'm going to fix that. Repositional. I love it. You can uh -huh. reposition it. Yeah, I'm just ever so slightly off. So when I get back to my desk, I am definitely going to check out those settings. So Jill, thank you very much. The struggle is real. I know. I know. Did you move around your crafting area? Nope. It's still the same, although I'm due for a move. Okay. Good enough. 
Now you should probably, we're going to go back to the machine. And yes, my bobbin is really low. I may or may not have one bobbin chicken. I hope it, nobody. It close. It, pretty darn close. I really don't want to find out. So <laughs> I'm going to change the bobbin because we need to do some quick fixing. But yeah, when I get back to my desk, the first thing I'm going to check is my uh, printer settings. Um, so you could tape if you wanted. Uh, there's lots of things. So what should, what color pink should I do? I think I have the lighter pink. Yeah, let's do that. So what we're going to do is just have a look. Now, probably because the size is off, you know what's going to happen? This. I might be able to get away with it. Ooh, ooh. I didn't think it would match. It's a little bit off. That's okay. I can fix that. I didn't know it was starting with the circle. Yeah, it's a little too far off. Okay, so... Are we going to do a couple of satin stitches here? I'm, I've got my hand on the stop button. I don't think it's going to cover it up, but it might. Just waiting. So I'm just going to do a couple of them and then I'm going to trim. I don't think those are any no, wider. They're not much wider than the zigzag. No, even the zigzag is showing. So let's try an experiment to fix this. I'm going to get out of embroidery mode. We like experiments. And I'm going to edit and I'm going to do size. And you know what? I'm just going to bring it down one, one click. Did you hear it? Just one click. And we're going to go into embroidery and then we are going to skip all the colors like this super fast if i didn't say it you should change your bobbin to match uh to match the Candace top just thread asked pink bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> no Let's see if this is going to make a difference. Now, I know I'm stitching double over. Yep, yeah, that's a tiny bit better. It may be enough. I should have fast forwarded to the uh, outside stitches. Yeah, that, I might be able to do it right on. It's just so slightly off. That looks much better and it fixed it that part anyways so now let's see yet yeah, there's usually a way to fix stuff oh it's pretty close isn't it oh i hope it's good i think it is though how does it look from there there it looks good so lots yeah. Might be pretty close. This this part here is quite a bit off. Not quite on that corner, but we could also fix that. It is going to pull down and make it nice and flat again on that part. So only one, one part in the corner that... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was me cutting it too short, but there you go. When I stop my machine and press scissors button, is it going to trim? Is it going to trim it? Yes. Um, your trim should be set automatically. If you need to do a color change, for example, do a color change when there isn't a color change or stop the machine like I did, that's what I did. I pressed the scissors and cut it so yes 
Okay, so we made a pretty healthy recovery here. It's not bad. Good troubleshooting, everyone. And the big point of this is don't give up. Don't give up. Um, I should have fixed it, and I was aware of it, but when I'm live, I just want to keep going. Yeah, it's flattened it out. It's just that one corner that was way off, and I think that was me being too excited about cutting or something. <laughs> I cut it a little too short, but... Yeah. So, other than this one little corner... Pretty cool. So, yeah. Pretty good recovery. Good troubleshooting. Yes, it could have um, uh, scanned and done other things, but you know what? Just making it a hair smaller... Has, right? yeah, yeah, has pretty much fixed it. We'll see how good my placement is on the back. So, not bad. I'm pretty good with yeah, it. Good catch. You know, if you were really, you know, if this was your last piece of fabric, you could go in again, or one or two, and then have double satin. So, yeah. lots of ways. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's go back to the desk. So, pink glasses. Let's see about the back. Well, I did the back better than the front. I have to fix my tension, apparently. Uh, so, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's not bad either. I, I'm quite happy with it. And, you know, I could keep working on it as well. Um, this is nice. There's a lot of stitching in this. So, for sure, there's a lot of stitching. Now, I just need some water to fix it up. But isn't that cute? If you look at it from an arm's length, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, you could get away with it for sure. It's just for your luggage. Now, this is a little bit off on the corners. But again, I think that was me. So, um, yeah, it's fabulous. It's beautiful. Not everything has to be perfect. And, you know, you could hand embroider a flower on the front and the back if you wanted to. Personally, I would just leave it like this. You got to poke the uh, the holes through here. The uh, this turned out perfect with the little bit of making it a little bit smaller. So yeah, completely doable. I love it. Lindsay, I love it. Looks awesome and it's pink. I know. I know. Uh, Patty says looks good. Fun stitch out. Um, Lynn, are you going to be making your own? Yeah, that's a really good question. I don't know if you can get more pink than what I have. <laughs> it's good pinks. So I use the exact stuff that Eileen Roche did, and I like it. So boo-boos aside, remember to check your printer settings, guys. Um, and if you don't, it's not the end of the world. But when you put your fabric down, your pre-cut, fabric down if it if it's way off then do it again so uh don't worry don't sweat the small stuff what a super cute design thank you eileen roche and designs and machine um embroidery could you use the vinyl for it you could you could for sure although it's a pretty intense design but i think the marine vinyl is pretty good for it so a pink contest between Sue and Lynn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not fair, though, because Lynn gets to start hers now. So, anyways, it is a free little project. You can practice your cutting with your paper scissors. Make sure your, your <coughs> printer is set properly, for sure. You can send it to your Scan and Cut. You can send it to your Silhouette or your Cricut and pre-cut it. Or you can just plunk some fabric down and do it old school. So, um, yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, I hope you like this video. Please like this video. And <coughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.
Hi, everyone. Super cute.